Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is the te last 10 books tag. I was tagged in this by Ross from Scally Dagglings about the books and I finally done it. You guys know how long it takes me to do tag videos. It takes me ages. This one is going to be a short and sweet one because some of the answers are very short and sweet. So enjoy it. Enjoy. You know me and my videos. They're normally really long. So let's get on with it, shall we? So the n number one, the first prompt is last book you didn't finish. You guys know I very rarely ever don't finish a book. But the last book that uh, at the time of filming this that I didn't finish was Oryx and Crate. I DNF'd it. You guys know it was a it was a TBR jar pick and it was just not for me. So I DNF'd that. The last book you reread, that was, I don't reread very often, but that was The Twits by Roald Dahl. You guys know I love my Roald Dahl books. But that was that one. Don't reread very often because I tend to like getting through my my unread TV I was a ma bit massive so don't really read very often the last book you bought now again this is at the time of recording this I can't remember when it's coming out but I'm recording it the day after my birthday so I've been gifted loads of books but the last book I actually bought was Maleficent which is a retelling of the lovely Snow White no yes yeah, no Sleeping Beauty we all loved the, the Maleficent the films. I love the Maleficent films. This is Maleficent Mistress of Evil, which is the second book. Five years has passed. Aurora is the Queen of the Moors. Philip is Prince of Olsted. And these two young rulers have fallen in love. It's finally time for the happy ever after. Right. Fe wrong. Fairies are going missing from the Moors and something suspicious is in the air. As Aurora bonds with the Queen, Queen, Queen Ingrith, Philip's mother, Maleficent, finds herself pit pitted against a woman who detests all that she holds sacred. And in the wake of additional betrayal, the dark phase of inner strength is tested. So this is the second of the Maleficent books, and I cannot wait. I, Mia's got the film upstairs, but I cannot wait to reread re re this book. It's one I'm so excited about. The last book you wrote... No, the last book you said you read but didn't. I don't do that. If, I'm gonna, if, I, if I read a book... You guys know me, I'm an open page. I will be honest with you. So I don't do that. The next one's pretty similar. The last book you wrote in the margins of. Again, I don't do that. I don't write in the margins of books. I need to use my little sticky tabs so I can save pages for quotes that I'm really starting to enjoy. Because I noticed that in one of the books I read for a read along that I wanted to tab up the quote. And I probably, I don't know if I can highlight it. I don't know if I write in the margins. I don't know if I can do that. It feels a bit like touching a book or writing on it. it feels very strange for me it's not something I feel comfortable doing but I know some people like to do it but no again I don't do that the last book you had signed well I didn't have it signed but I got sent it from Charlie from Charles Heathcote and that is The Miseducation of Evie Hepworth this book he sent to me um as a Christmas present and I'll see if I can find the signature oh it's so it's so lovely. It's got like a little signature bit there. Enjoy Evie Madison Taylor. So that's sort of signed and that's being kept in the book. And that is very special. He's got a couple of other little bits and bobs that he... This, is, this book's very special because Charlie sent it with signed and the author's actually messaged me about it. And it's just gorgeous. I love this book. I love it, love it, love it. So thank you, Charlie. I listened to the, I read this on ebook last year and it's one of Charlie's favourite books. So it's, I can't wait to read the physical copy of it again. It's beautiful. The last book you lost. Again, I don't lose books. I sometimes try and... I don't, yeah, I don't lose books. I really don't think I do. Because I have a system. So like once I've read a book, it goes on my pile. Sometimes I think I maybe... I, I can't remember where exactly where I put them. But even the books on myself are in genre. So I know where to look. Um, once I've read a book, if I, I'll either go, give it to a charity shop or put it back on the shelves if it's really good or lend it to a friend, but I don't think I've ever lost a book. So that's a bit of a tough. The last book you had to replace. Now, this is a book that I haven't found to replace yet, but I know that I've got to replace it, and that's The Ice Cream Girls by Dorothy Coomson. I had a big debate with myself once I read that book. I read it last year, loved it, and I had a big debate whether I would keep it or not. I thought, that's kind of like the lost one, I thought I'd kept it, but I must have decided to 
donate it. I think I donated it in my last bags of books that I've got. And now I've now my sister Charlie's bought me the sequel and I now want to reread the ice cream girls. So I've now got to replace it. So when the charity shops reopen, I've now got to go and look for the ice cream girls in the charity shops. If anyone finds it, let me know. I would love it. I really want it. That's what, so that's another book. That's the next book I've got to replace because I want it on my shelves. I want it with the sequel. I want to keep my copies together. The last book you had an argument over. Again, I don't tend to argue with people over books. Um, sometimes I think my sister Charlie talks about books that are problematic and I struggle to see that. Um, I struggle to see the, the things about that. So it's a bit hard. Um, and I think... I'm not an argumentative person. I really hate, as you work as well, no, I, I hate arguing with people. I say my opinion on books and sometimes people disagree, but it's not an argument necessarily. I'm like looking at my, I've got my, my little book, my little book journal thing in here and I'm going, did any of these books that I've disagreed with anyone on? I don't think so. The Night Circus was a book me and Chloe didn't get on with. That's the one we've just finished. Um, Once Upon a River, again, certain people loved it. I didn't like it as much, but I didn't argue with anyone. Once Upon a River is probably the, only, the closest because a lot of people I know love it and I didn't like it as much. So that's probably the closest answer I can give on that. The last book you couldn't get hold of. I, can't, I think for the life of me, I will say a look, book that's been on my Amazon wish list for ages. And I've been looking at it for, in the charity shop for ages is Ruth by Elizabeth Gaskell. That's the last Gaskell book that I have not got. So that, for the life of me, is one that I could possibly get it from Amazon, but I've been trying to hunt for it in charity shops everywhere and I've not been able to find it. So that's my answer to that. This is a short and sweet video, which is good. I've got some people to tag. Now, I'm not going to tag Charlie, but if you want to do it, you do it, because I think I've been tagging you a lot recently. I thought I'd give you a break. But I am going to tag Leo from A Little Book Live, Connor from Connor's Library Corner, and Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. I've mixed it up. I've tagged some different people finally. But if any of you see it and want to do it, please do. It's, it's a really fun, quick, easy tag to do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not subscribed yet, ring on my ding-a-ling. And I'll see you all soon.